Cassie and Jen. Jen, he looks like a burrito. Today is a very exciting day because we are going to go. Woo! Cleo, can you tell us where we're going? Nope. Where are we going? Snowy, where are we going? We're going house hunting! Ah! Oh my god. Are you excited? I'm gonna sleep. The time is finally up that our contract is finished. It has been two years, nearly two years, and we're gonna go and look at some future houses. Anxiety. We're gonna go look at some houses today, and we're super excited, but first of all, I need to go and get ready to look at houses. And I'm gonna take you with me. Let's go. So my outfit's really hella cute today. Woohoo, woohoo. Yes. So we're just in the bathroom really, really quickly. This is the current state of my skin. And um, you can see that I have all these acne scars. These are just what I got from England. Like I got these in England. After going to England, the humidity, the weather, the change in water really, really irritated my skin. I've been using this LHA Ampule by Rovetin. You can't really see it, but it's really helped calm my skin down. Like, it doesn't upset my skin. So I use it for daytime and for nighttime. And it leaves my face feeling so calm and so beautiful and just so chill. I haven't got any new pimples since I actually started using this. I've also been using these two products as well. So this is the conditioning cleanser, which you put onto your face and then you rinse it off. And this is the Lotus Cream. Now the Lotus Cream is really hydrating and this helps my skin because I like, suffer from obviously dry skin. And this conditioning cleanser is a really nice cleanser because it doesn't dry my skin out after I use it. A lot of cleansers leave my skin feeling really, really dry and almost like flaky but this one keeps it nice and moisturized so i really recommend these and also me and jin can use these together which is unusual for us because we have different types of skin jin has a oily skin and i have dry skin but this works well for both skins so once we could actually clear up some cupboard space and just have one product instead of 75,000. Provectin is a clean brand. It uses pure ingredients and it was also vegan. It doesn't use any animal products, so it's suitable for everybody and it's nice and natural on the skin. The texture feels amazing. I'm not even kidding. I'm gonna go use it and then I'm gonna come back and show you what my skin looks like. This is after I have used. Feels so nice on my skin. And look how shiny it is. So I use the conditioning cleanser, the LHA ampule, and then I use the lotus cream and it's just left my skin feeling so nice. Now, I need to add some SPF, but I wanted to show you what it looked like before I added my SPF and did my eye makeup. Look. Hey guys, no, no, I put no. my um, makeup on and my <laughs> eyes, what? No, my um, skincare. I also, use the ampoule too, it's yeah, really- Yeah, it's really nice, yeah, right? Guys, we're going really to good. house hunting. Look at my outfit, look at my outfit. That one. <laughs> and we will take our father's car. My father will help today. <laughs> We're reading the book. We're almost here, baby. I'm excited. Hey. Hi guys, Hi, we're Ian. Wow. Welcome to my future crib. No, Ooh. I'm joking. We're in a future apartment that we're just having a look at. So number one apartment. Yeah, we're looking at villas because I really want to live in a villa. Now this villa has two rooms and is a lot smaller than what we are apartment now, but it's very modern. So as you walk in, you have all of this lighting. Wow. Yeah, so you have all of this like shoe storage Whoa. and like lighting. And then you have like a separate door, which we wouldn't even need a cat here. Bye bye. Yeah. <laughs> and you walk in. Wow. And this is the main area. Now, now this is the communal area, Whoa. which is nice. Wow. Oh, I don't like it because it's tiny. Why? Why is it tiny? This is massive. What are you talking no, about? No, it's not. <gasps> but you do have your two home dishwasher. Wow. You this is the kitchen, kitchen, right? So this is a full option. So you get... You could get dishwasher. You could get it with this in, the fridge. So you could just pick what you wanted. The wow. dishwasher is a really good idea, though. But as you can see, I think it's a really good size for two people. Yeah, but if we're going to... I gonna... do not think it's yeah. a good size for two people with a cat and a dog. And planning for the babies. Yeah, but it is beautiful. Um, and it's only two rooms, so let me show you the room. So in here we have the bedroom, which is a nice size bedroom. Wow! Now I'm not sure how we would put wardrobes in here. I think we wouldn't, but it is really, really nice. And in here you have a, everything's very modern. This building's only four months old. You have, you can pick to have these washer and dryers in here as well. Wow. Which is nice, it's nice and hidden away. And then we've got the, ba the bathroom is lovely though. So this show is the bathroom. <gasps> It's really nice. It's classic Korean style. 
Um, everything is really nice. Lots of underlighting, which is really pretty. Just like a wet room, basically. And then this is the last room. Now, this is a lovely room. <gasps> this is where I guess we'd have to put our clothes. Wow. Except then we wouldn't have an office. Oh, that's true. We used this as an office, and, I guess. Yeah, but then where do we put our clothes? Because our wardrobes wouldn't fit in the other room. Wow. This is amazing. And all of our clothes would not fit in here. That's our true. coats would fit in here. It's a nice start Fancy. though. It, I would live here if we have one more room. If we had one more room and a terrace, that would be a dream. I just think it's right now in our stage of life, it's a little like smaller a... than what we need. Because also yeah. clear and snowy in here running around, I don't think would have the full like capacity to do Yeah, themselves. and we need babies. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yeah, this was the first apartment, My guys. Pros, I like it because it's very modern and I like the style a lot. Yeah. Cons, I think it's too small for us. Okay. Let's go Room move to the next one. Next one. Walk into the kitchen. <gasps> and this would be like the sitting room, living room area. Wow. It's actually massive. Yeah. Wow. So it's nice and big, but I think all of our furniture would have to throw away. Like it wow. would fit. So this would be the bedroom here. Wow. Baby factory. Apparently you're not allowed to show your emotion when you look at houses. <laughs> and I'm not being I'm not being like um, No, but we don't say we like it. Like because... I know, but I just feel like we know this isn't big enough. <laughs> look. Wow, the kitchen. This house my OCD. Look, why is there just a corner? Um, what, what are we supposed to do in here? Cleo's house. <laughs> and this is the other room, which again, actually I think this is smaller. Because they have the, the washing machines inside the um, cupboard area. Wow. And this would be like the changing room. But again, no office. <laughs> so pros, it's modern. Um, cons, I don't like it. <laughs> Let's go. Hello. Hi, welcome to my gym. <laughs> you juke. My jib. Um, we are in another apartment in wow. a different building. This one has three rooms. So three? It's in, a, one more room. See, it's a bit more, I don't understand the distinct need for so many lights. <laughs> it's just seems wasteful. Anyway, we are, it's a bigger room, as you can tell. I we can't even play football here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we have the kitchen over here. There are three fridges. Wow. One for kimchi, one for fridgy business. Yeah. And then again, we have another secluded kitchen area. <laughs> I call this the galley kitchen. Okay, galley way. Bit worried about the use of three fridges because that seems like. And an it's awful kimchi lot of fridge, and look at this touchy. Yeah, I know, but it feels like an awful lot of electricity to it. Running as well as all these thousands of lights. Here's the bath bathroom. This one has two bathrooms, which is really cool. This is the first bathroom. Wow. This the same as the other one. Wow. So and then this would be the bedroom. It has some aircon up there, and again, thousand lights, um, wow. which is nice. And this would be quite cool, I think, to open. I like this idea with this window because it would just set in a breeze. Ooh. And then over here, you have kind of like some wow. wardrobe kind of situation here, <laughs> and you have another bathroom. This one's quite cool. Wow. Which I, it's like an ensuite, which you could shower in, but we, we would probably just use it to go to the toilet. And we're not going to argue for the poop in. We're nope. going to do that anyway. <laughs> um, and then come with me, guys. I'll show you the other two rooms. The first room, like the dressing room, same as the other apartment, as we have like, seen. This is where we put our wow. wardrobes, which is very nice. It's quite big as well, which is, I like it. And then the other one would probably, this is the third room, this is the difference. This would probably be an office. Wow. The one, the one of the good things about having a newer build is that they have a lot of plug sockets and a lot of older Korean buildings don't have that many plug sockets so you end up using extension cords. But yeah, this is the other house, the third house and you have an up-to-date actual working, like when people ring the bell. Security. call the police. <laughs> <laughs> this would do the temperature for the house. So pro, it's bigger and I like that it has an ensuite. Pons, there's so many lights, it's actually hurting me. Like physically, my eyes, I'm getting migraine. <laughs> so let's go into another one. Let's go. <laughs> 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 just show you the house. There's no light in this house. We're in a completely different area. It's big, it's freezing. <laughs> it's bigger. So as soon as you walk in, so it has this one is of the living room. Has, that's not the living room. That's no, the I mean, room. this is this the, is the living room. <laughs> No, but the thing is, right? But if you walk in, this is what you're greeted with, which is actually quite spacious. Ooh. And you have a room either side of here. Now, these aren't the, these won't be the main bedrooms. These mm -hmm. are just like extra rooms. So they're just, I think they're the same size. 
size. This one's slightly bigger. Ooh. So you could have one as a guest bedroom. The mm -hmm. wallpaper is really nice in here. It's all wow. freshly done. And then the other one is, I think, a little bit smaller. So here. Oh, no, I think they're exactly the same size, actually. I like this window here. It's just like you, you can't open it, but I think it's <laughs> quite nice. And opposite chair. But yeah, as I said, the lights don't work. And then there is a bathroom in there, the main bathroom. Again, very dark. It's traditional Korean type. Bathroom, it's like a wet room. And you've got the double shower. And the living room is quite messy, baby. You can watch TV here to here. I don't understand why people do that in Korea. Why? They put their TV on one side of the wall, and their sofa on the other side of the wall. Yeah. And it doesn't matter how far away they are. <laughs> I'm like, how do you see that? And then this is the kitchen. Wow. Which has a dining area. I'm guessing this is where you put your fridge. Again, I don't really understand the hidden area. Like, what would you put in here? Like, why is this hidden? <laughs> but I did check. This opens up and goes all the way down. It was really cute, actually. This is really nice. And there's proper tiles on here that are really pretty. And you've got proper, like, um, marble here. Good sized drawers. And a lot of storage. Jeez. Two more rooms. You come in here. This, I'm guessing this would be the master bedroom. Oh. It has the air conditioning on. Got a good amount of plug sockets. Got plug sockets here, plug sockets here. And then another bathroom here, which is just like a... Two... Like, just, you just use it to pee in. Two room. toilets. Mm. And then, if we go through here, there's another room. <laughs> this is four rooms. Yeah. I don't know what we would do with this room. <laughs> Four rooms is quite a lot of room. And then this is like, um, I'm guessing where you would plug in your washing machine? Boiler room. Mm. Now it's a bigger house and it's a very nice house, except the location is not the best. We're kind yeah. of like a bit far off from yeah. the station. Location is secretive, but we will show you guys but maybe two again, more. Yeah, thousands of lives. Yeah. But this is very nice. Yeah, I, I agree. Let's go to the next one. Yeah. It's actually like not my favorite, but not my worst. Yeah. Ooh. We're in uh, an apartment in the same building. It is one room smaller, but it has a terrace, which is exciting. So let me show you it. First, let's go into this room. This is one of the rooms that could be like a dress room or I guess a office or I don't know, a spare bedroom as well. It's really nice because it's really modern. So you have all of these plugs in here, which is amazing. And then, oh, oh and all of these, you know where you can see? I think it must be newly constructed because it's, it's a little dusty. So I feel like that must be that is like you sure had builders in recently it's this next room yeah this is the other room it's slightly oh, it's just the same yeah but again it has this really nice window oh my and God. we don't have this in our apartment <laughs> yeah so that would be nice to know we would survive a fire <laughs> a massive then, living room yeah here. the living room is giant look at it wow um and you have a this is a terrace as well this is a balcony but you kind of just put plants in there so look at how big this is so this is where you could have some air conditioning. I'm guessing the TV would go... She don't, I don't know, I guess you could... Yeah, the sofa here and the TV there. And everything is really nice. And like the wood is really nice. And in here we have the, the one bathroom. Massive toilet. Yeah, massive toilet for Ginny. <laughs> <laughs> and then this area, I think is really cute. Wow. This is, you'd put your... It's real tile, which is nice. Nice. And you'd put your fridge here. And then I guess you could have some extra storage over there. Um, there's also a place that has a nice... Built in extractor fan, and then this is where they said you could put your washing machine, but our washing machine I don't think will fit. Now, as you can see, this house is slightly tilted, that means that is because of the terrace. Now, if there is a terrace that goes all the way around and it has lights on it as well, Ooh. like there's a light right above you, Jenny. Oh. Hello. Which I think is really, I like that. But, and then this would be the master bedroom, which is, it's like, oh nice, plug plug. As I said, in a more modern build, you find way more plugs than you used to. I think this is really lovely and I could definitely see us living here. It's just the location might not be the best location, but this is really, really big. <laughs> And it's really new, as you can see, they haven't even put up here. Okay. And as you can see, the lights are on. Again, we have quite a few lights, like the last place. And anyway, let's go see some more. It's a kind of like a <laughs> table turner. Just a, now, just a this meter. This house is being currently built, so they're yeah, with us. Just came in. It's going to be built house... in one month. Okay. Oh, wow, that's quick. This house, we would be able to make uh, choose what we want built in. So we could choose to have a fridge built in, or we could choose to have, I wonder if we could get a dishwasher put in. This house would be for 
buying just to put that out there. We would have to buy this house. Let's just take you through. So first thing to walk in and Ooh. this whole area is massive, but look at these windows. It's wow. really, really nice, these windows. It'd be like a kitchen. So you'd have a kitchen here. Mm -hmm. And then this is like an island where you would sit and eat. Obviously they're still building it. And then you've got this giant area here, all the space. Beautiful windows, Whoa. air conditioning. There's a nice, this is really nice. Sorry, <laughs> I'm shook. There's a nice, like, um, we're five minutes away from the station apparently, which is good, line two. And then here is the utility, just a classic utility. Um, I guess we put a washing machine in it. And then this room is one of the first rooms that they have. Now this is like, obviously a spacious room. We can have this as, I forgot to buy it. I'm not gonna believe it. We can have this as any. <laughs> and then follow me. <laughs> this is the bathroom, free style bathroom. I like it because it's quite spaced out. Yeah. Think about it. Um, this room is the and this room, ideal room. I would want to use this for our bedroom. Like, yeah, yeah, for we're going to see the. I think it's really nice if we go to sleep at night. We could look out the windows. Yeah. And we can see, like, we and all of these windows have privacy windows. So they've actually got three layers of window on them. So they've got. One window, two window, privacy window. And also you can only open the window from inside. Yeah. Yeah, this would probably be where we would sleep. I have to take her upstairs, Jim's like, go upstairs. Wow, but you're just fucking scared. <laughs> go up, go up. Okay, wow. I'm going up. So this is the new build. Oh my god. Oh, there's no snow. You have this giant space. <laughs> like, what are you going to do here? <laughs> and then this is in construction is going to be another bathroom um and then you have a corner over here i don't know what's going in there but you have that area and then you have two rooms oh my god this is wow I think what you could do in the summer i know it's not the same as having a terrace but is you just open up the windows that's actually true so because they were like on the the level where you can sit oh so it's not the same as a terrace but you could put all your flowers out here. I don't think you're allowed to sit out there um, and just have it open and just kind of like chill out the window. This is a five room house, which is massive. Very shockingly ginormous. Jin says we have to go now. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Let's go, let's take you guys to the next place. Okay, so this is the other one. We are down the floor, but it has a terrace and it has four rooms instead of five rooms and it's still being built. So come with me. So yes, sir. As you walk in, this would be like the living room where you watch TV. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And we'll come in here first. So we have one room in here, slightly smaller room, decent size, could definitely fit like a single bed in here. Uh, I mean, Quite a lot of things in here. You've got a small double as well. And then you have this is the this is where you put like utility stuff, mm -hmm. which is actually quite large. <laughs> Again, I'm wondering about natural light, but it is really really nice here. We'll do this side of the house first. <sighs> then you've got. Again, air conditioning place. This is, you could have this open in the summer and just have your friends like coming in and out. This is another room. Slightly, again, like not massive, but like we could have an office each if we wanted, but we don't do that because we like to be near each other. But again, this is for buying, not renting. So it's quite expensive. And um, this would be the- We need more loans for this. Would this be the master bedroom? Yeah, because so that's a bathroom. The master bedroom is a bit yeah. smaller than the other one, but it has an ensuite, which is ridiculous. And it's a really nice looking ensuite, too. And then. Terrace, terrace. Show the terrace. Oh, wait, there's one room here. Oh, no, it's the sun bathroom. And then this is the kitchen area. Again, spacious, very spacious. And then, as you said, remember, this has been built, okay? It's not been built yet. This We're going for the terrace now. Oh. And I asked if I could have a barbecue on here, and they said yes. <laughs> this would be such a summer house. But, oh, I didn't notice this. Hello, neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> and the house we just looked at was one up. Yeah. But had no tax. But has built it yet. Hasn't yeah. built it yet. But, um, yeah, that is a house. I think that's all we're going to show you. Let's go. Hi guys, we're back. It's Hello. 7 p.m. It's been a long day. Oh, we literally saw seven houses while you guys already saw. Yeah, we saw seven different types of villas. And the reason we want to move into a villa is because I would quite like to move into a villa because they remind me of homes in England. I don't like living in big apartment buildings because it makes me feel like I'm kind of 
in a prison. And why do we move? Um, because our currency, no, our deposit is up. Our time frame is up, and we'd like to move somewhere. Right now, we live on top of a hill, mm -hmm. and we live right next to a beautiful park. But we would like to move somewhere that towards an area that's a bit more happening. You know. We're moving towards a restaurant. <laughs> and also, we're planning for having babies in the future too. So the house we would move into would need to have enough room for at least one child because we're yeah. planning to live there for like four years. Yeah, uh, more than four years. Like yeah, like this long would be term. a long term. And also, I just like to do a really, really quick disclaimer. I'm sorry if I look a little bit miserable in some of the videos when we look around the house. It's just that moving and looking at different houses is a really, really depressing time for me when it should be really really exciting because as a foreigner living in a different country your house is your safe haven and it's your only safe haven you have in the whole country is the only place you have that is yours so it can be quite stressful when you're going to look at new houses to try and find one that you know takes all the right boxes is in the right neighborhood it has you know like i wanted a house that has an outdoor area because i'd really like snowy to be able to go outside without having to go all the way downstairs yeah. so please just keep that in mind i i am happy i just was very very stressed before mentioning all the houses we look let me explain the Korean system here. The number one is Chunze that we are having now. Is so uh, you paid a big deposit, like a massive deposit, like um 400 million won or around that, and so you stay. We didn't pay that much. We got a loan though. Yeah, but. <laughs> We... So there's that people think that YouTube is really rich and that's just not true. We have a loan. <laughs> we pay those and wait till we move out and we get back the exact amount of money. Also, if you're like us, we have a loan. Even though you pay the chunse, the massive big deposit, you still pay every month for the bank for the loan. It's almost like a mortgage. Yeah, like an interest. You pay the yeah. interest every month. And the bills for the house. Yeah, and for the rent, the same. But also, we have a panjunse here, which is you pay half of the massive deposit. You still pay the rent, but less than. Yeah, then half of them we sold today was chunse, and half of them are for buying, which will be included for the, all the bank loan for us because we don't have enough money for buying the house. But wow, house prices are really expensive. Yeah, in Seoul especially. So basically, why also we're seeing the villa is the price, but also we get bigger place than apartment. And because I prefer to live in a villa over an apartment, which apparently is really crazy. But to me, a villa is a step up from a step apart from an apartment. Because for me, living in a villa would really help my mental health. <laughs> I would have like five neighbors or ten neighbors instead of the like twenty five thousand that live in our apartment complex right now. So I wouldn't have to worry about different people staring at me every single day. It would just be the same like fifteen people that I know. Yeah, and um, we have one more option, which is most likely the option we will choose but we'll see it's but it's not on the same vibe as the houses yeah. we saw today i think you'll be very shocked yeah it's our friend who's lily and henji's mom we, we saw had their a look house. at their house and yeah. they're selling their house and it is not like the houses we saw today it is in an old villa and it has a very surprising layout mm -hmm. which is still amazing if we we're gonna choose but what do you think about the houses we saw so far um i didn't like the beginning houses i realized that a two-bedroom house mm -hmm. is actually too small for us now that we're a family of which I was really shocked about because I thought two rooms would be enough for us but when I went into the two room house first one I'm gonna see I was like there's no way clear and snowy can happily coexist in this house because it's just not big enough yeah that's true that's something I noticed and I was like shit I'm coming older we've got more responsibilities to look after then some of the houses like we saw today I was like these like this is too big my favorite house so far is um, the oh. house that you haven't seen Lily's house <laughs> In Korean eyes, we're yeah, yeah. degressing, regressing. We're going backwards, but my eyes and Jenny's eyes are going forwards, maybe backwards. Yeah, we're you were office still, and we're apartment now, and but we're going back to villa, but which is kind of backwards in Korea. But in England, view when you're thinking maybe it's forward. We'll see. We'll it's share you. It's a topic you. of debate amongst our parents. Oh, but <laughs> yeah. We will share more information and I really want to know you guys' opinion. Yeah.
Here is Cleo. She's just camera shy, as you can tell. She just doesn't nope. like the camera. Anytime we put her in front of the camera, she leaves. But, come here, Bubba. This is our family of four. So we not only do we need to find a nice house. Stop trying to go for your brother. Not only do we need a nice house. Nope. <laughs> for us. We need to find a nice house that will fit them as well. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.